you are not an accident. Don't bury your head in the sand because you are special before God. God gave his only son to die, has to die for you. That's how special you are. The Bible says that God will have all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. It's a good thing to be saved but you, be, you can be defeated by situations and circumstances because you don't know the truth. What set us free is the truth. So it's a great joy to enter your homes with the word of truth. My name is Kafui Ketegu from Restoration Provision Ministries International. There is no better way to start a day than knowing that your life is not an accident. In Psalm 113, Nine, verse 16, I read from the New Living Translation. It says, you saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. You are not an accident. God saw you. He formed you. Not only that, from the day you came out of your mother's womb to the day he calls you, every single day of your life has been written down before it came to pass. Is that not exciting to know that they are, you are not an accident? Many a times we hear people say, parents for instance, say that, Oh, we did not plan this for this child to come in. Oh, this child was an accident. I come to tell you today, irrespective of whether your parents pre-plan it or not, you were in the plan of God because God knew you. He knew you before you came. And he's not only that, he's determined that he's written something wonderful about your life for each day. The only thing he requires of you is to know that which he wrote about your life before he formed you. He told Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, he said, before I formed you, I knew you, I ordained you. So before you came out, you, God has already written what you were going to be, how you were going to go about it, what you are supposed to do. But I can challenge you today that if you don't know the script God wrote about your life, you may not find fulfillment. So you may be doing things the way you think it's all right, but you will not have that joy. To enjoy every day, the best way to start is said, ask God, what have you written in your books before I was formed about today? And when you walk in that, there's so much overwhelming joy that you cannot contain because that you, your life is in sync with God's plan for your life. Many people write a lot, say a lot of things about people I did not. No, 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 no. Look at a case like Josiah. Before he was born, he's a king. He's a young boy. For eight years, he started ruling. But before then, in First Kings chapter 30, God wrote about his life. He was not yet born. In 2 Kings chapter 23, we saw how God fulfilled every single thing he wrote about Josiah's life, which is which confirmed what David said in Psalm 139 verse 16 that every single day of my life was written before I was born that is a confirmity you are not an accident you are not a mistake your parents may not have planned you but God planned you he holds you in a high esteem because you are part of a solution to the world's problem and there's something he's written for you to do today and I just like you to know, I don't know it, but you know it. When you ask him, he'll give it to you. A young man by the name Japheth, with Judges chapter 11. The Bible says he was a mighty man of valor, a strong person. But his, he, his father, his mother was a prostitute. So when his father died, he was driven out of the house. But God has already written that he was a deliverer for the house. But the people did not identify that he was a deliverer. So they took him, they drove him out of the house. Jephthah was not part of the negotiation between his father and his mother. 
but he paid the shame and price for what his parents had done. But the Bible says that the, when situation arose, nations ro rose up against them, Judah. They came to him because they knew that he was a person that God has written so much about. He was a mighty man of valor, but they did not know people put a label on him that he was a son of a prostitute. I don't know what label they've placed on you. You are not an accident. God has written everything about your life. Chapter David means he's a deliverer. God opens the door, and that was what happened. He brought deliverance to, uh, to Israel. How? But they despised him. I believe he for somehow he knew within him that his life was worth more than what he was living. You may find yourself, of course, sometimes. God is so merciful. Just like sometimes we program things to get to a destination using the satellite nav navigation. When you miss your junction or take the wrong turn, it reroutes you. So God can reroute you back to his script he's written about you. All you need to do is to ask him, Father, what is that script about my life? So that I want to live my life in full and die empty like David said. You are not an accident. Don't bury your head in the sand because you are special before God. God gave his only son to die, has to die for you. That's how special you are. Not only that, he knew you by name. He has engraved your name in his palm. And not only that, every single day of your life is written. That means you are well thought of, well planned. Everything has been ordained already for you. And I want to tell you, when you have this mentality and you seek that counsel from the Lord, what he wrote about a day, your day will be full of joy that is unimaginable. Your life is not an accident. I hope you enjoy today and I pray you enjoy today because it's a day God has written down before you even stepped into it. And so it's a life full of victory. Obstacles may come, but with this understanding, you go through have a good day and God bless you.